Hello everyone, welcome to Morality, and today we are going to be going over the activity indicator component. Alright, now let's get straight into it. So, let's go over to the left and create a new file called activity indicator component.js. And then we are going to do RFNE to set up our function. And now we're going to go back to app.js so that we can display our component. So right here, we're going to throw in our activity indicator component. Make sure you click the one with the path and then make this self-closing because it doesn't need to be appearing. Okay. So now you can see our text displayed in the middle. That means we have our component hooked up to the app. So now let's go back to our activity indicator component. Now let's remove this text. And what we're going to do is import a component called activity indicator from React Native. And that's going to be self closing. So as you can see, there's a little spinner in the middle of the screen. This is the activity indicator and people use this for loading any type, any type of process that needs um, loading so that it signifies that there's something going on in the background and you need to wait. So there are two props to this activity indicator and that's going to be color and the size. So let's just make four here so we could display all the different props. And then what we're going to do is go to this view, have a style and set the flex direction to one, I mean to row. So that now we have all of them in a row. Okay, so now what we want to do is we're going to give this a width of 100%. Make sure you put this in uh, quotation marks so that it makes this view extend to the ends of the screen. And then we're going to have justify content and have that set to um, space evenly. So now they're all spaced across the screen. Okay. So now we're going to change, give these four different colors and the prop for that is actually color. So we're going to have black, um, blue, Red. Oh, red and probably a, a green one. So now you can see we have our four different um, spinners or activity indicators. And now we can go into the second prop and have size, which is going, well, you could have um, either small or large. So we'll do large for the first one. See, now you can see it's a, a lot bigger. And then we'll do uh, large for the third one. See, so now we have, you can change the colors of them. You can change the size between small and large. So this is gonna be the end of the video, guys. I know this one was a short one, if you would like to see like a part two on how to use it for like loading or anything like that, then uh, please put it down in the comments and I will um, get onto that. And uh, we're gonna start doing two videos a week. I know I said that before, but I recently got sick, so now I'm going to start putting them out Monday and Friday or Tuesday and Friday. So yeah, um, have a great day and please like and subscribe. Thank you.
Bye.